Hey Sagittarius, or Chinese, your rat, mateable, beautiful fire. This one's for you. Take what resonates, of course. We are tapping in to see what ancestors are with you and what do they want you to know. We're tapping into ancestry for you today. So I'm going to get a few extra different cards going. Scrabble tiles. Initials. Well, there comes three. There goes four. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. We have an L. I got Lucy. I. C. Charles. Charlie. E. Something about Eva. Maybe even something about Levi. Something about Lee. Something about Cecilia. Something about lice. With the L-I-C-E here. So be careful with lice. I don't know. Also something about ice. 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 Baby. Uh, somebody could like music too. Or somebody did like music. These ancestral energies. Uh, maybe not the new day age music. But it's not like they don't get the chance to hear some of these things. You know. Even though they're not here physically, doesn't mean they don't get the chances to um, hear frequencies and, and stuff like that, because they do. So, I'm getting, let's see, what else do I feel with this? Something about lotus flowers, um, something about lizards, something about lizards, because I see the eye, and I was getting an iguana, but then I saw the L, and I was like, okay, lizards then, something about a lizard. I am feeling... Well, I have to say it. Mount Everest. Something about Everest. Something about Everlast. That could be a, a band, right? It's a band? I believe it is. I feel something to do with... Colors. Colors. So, this ancestor that's with you, one of them, whoever it may be, because there's multiple of you Sagittarius is watching this, but one of the energies um, that I'm feeling and picking up actually talks to you through colors. There's colors, like, so say, like, you wake up one day and you're like, everything kind of seems kind of dull, right? <clears throat> it's not as bright as it usually is or whatever. You're like, maybe it's just because I have to wake up, you know, but then there's only certain colors that are more vibrant to you throughout that day. So within the colors that are more vibrant to you is definitely the, the ancestor. They're speaking something to you to that color. So there's different colors that are more vibrant to you throughout days. This is this does not happen to me. Every color is every, every day vibrant to me. But this is definitely feeling like if you guys are resonating with that, there's a reason why. The ancestor is trying to tell you something. So colors do have meanings. So the color that keeps coming to me is orange. So, like, you can see orange is just really bright orange, and it just keeps popping, and it's, like, the one color that's really standing out. Uh, oranges are, like, really warm, friendly sensations, and, like, they're they're very energetic. It's highly energetic energy. So, maybe there's something to do with that in that sense, and they just wanted you to know that at this time, because that's something I was feeling. Is there anything else? Licorice? Licorice? Somebody like licorice. <coughs> All right. I'm going to get one of these first. Let's see what this energy of this ancestor is all about. Sagittarius is energy here. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, things could be a little cloudy, a little hazy for you lately, right? And, you know, maybe things aren't as clear as you'd like them to be. You are not. And that, that also goes with the vision thing, too. Like, things are a little bit unclear, but there's certain parts around that are able to be more more vivid. So, like, uh, this is the clouds going over the full moon, by the way. That's what all these are. So, the truth will set you free from demonic entities taking hold of this beautiful energy you possess. Keep all the good and luck to yourself. So there's something about not being able to see clearly. There's some there's some energy around you that's ancestral that is trying to mess give you some messages. They're trying to say like the truth will set you free from demonic entities taking hold of this beautiful energy that you possess. You have a phenomenal full moon, full moon illuminating energy. 
all right you got to keep all the good and luck to yourself quit giving it out i know you're probably one of those empathetic energies you're just so giving and loving and sweet and everything right but if it was me getting this reading which i'm a sagittarius moon but it's not my reading because like, i already felt like that was not for me at all like none of that was near anything i experienced but if it were me on the other end of this, I would be like, okay, I'm going to take this message and think to me, think to myself, like, I'm not going to give my energy to anyone. It's that important that my own ancestors are telling me that I can't be giving my energy, my good or my luck, because right now I need the, the I need those for myself, right? So that's what I would assume you guys should be doing, filling up your own cup right now. Okay, kids, I totally understand that. Kids, like, are everything, right? We have to give to them. But that's the only thing I can think of to give to right now husbands wives whatever significant others boyfriends girlfriends whatever family no just give to yourself only because there's maybe within the energies that you've been giving to they could have some kind of negative possession to them is sucking their energy quicker so they're coming back more and more to you when you can't even fill up your own cup okay that's a big one right there all right now i'm gonna get a number well we're gonna use the uh, actual poker deck poker card deck right black jack whatever but i'm gonna get some energies here some number number sequences stuff like that that's what i feel to do for these ancestral um card well readings this is you got the king of hearts you know what the king of hearts is the king of cups and king of cups is definitely spiritual guides mentoring you helping you guiding you supporting you comforting you okay so this is definitely an energy of a masculine coming through so you have more than one ancestor with you. This specifically could be a spirit guide, like an actual spirit guide that's with you all the time. Ancestors come and go. They'll come to see and check on you and see how you're doing. But this is an ancestral message. I picked you guys to see who would need this message. You guys got chosen. Since I'm only doing two questions throughout the rest of the next round. <clears throat> Gemini, I got the first question, which was, what kind of conscious boundaries should you have for your soul? Okay, so I'm doing those two questions throughout the rest of these rounds, and you guys are the first two to start it off. And I'm going to be busy this specific Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'll be back on Monday. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry a little, I'm a little delayed today. Uh, I wasn't expecting it, but my grandma had called me this morning. was like, I needed my help, so I had to go run over there and help her out. And someone with her computer, Google update, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, so I went over there and helped her out, and it took a little bit longer than um, I was expecting, but it is what it is. We actually had a good conversation in a lot of ways, and we we needed each other's company. Uh, my grandma was born in 1941, so <laughs> she she's up there now, and she's 52 years older than I am, and if I'm 31, then that's already in the 80s, you know what I mean? So she, I mean, she's kicking still. She's doing really good, and I'm really, really, really thankful, uh, and she's basically healthy as an ox in a lot of ways i mean she's had a few things that have happened throughout her life but she's really like been the strength of will to survive for her is is very very strong so <clears throat> i was over there so i'm sorry that was a little delayed today either way so i do feel something with this king of hearts i kind of want to get a message from them but the moonology manifestation okay what's the message from the spirit soul energy multiple messages because they love you guys so much you got open up to change always be open to change Aquarius is energy change the sequency of what you've been giving your good and luck out changing that to not doing it as much right now change okay and open up to it knowing your worth Taurus is energy new moon in Aquarius new moon in Taurus know your worth to open up to change to not give right now eventually they'll come back and let you know when it's okay step into your power Aries energy. Boom shakalaka. Sagittarius is, is gonna step into their power. Open up to change. Know what they're worth. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Give all their good and luck to themselves. Woo woo. Taurus is Chinese your snake. Aquarius is Chinese your tiger. And Aries is Chinese your dragon. You guys could be Sagittarius snakes, Sagittarius Aquarius or tigers, Sagittarius dragons. <laughs> Ignore me. All right, anyway, let's keep going. Number sequences, if you will, if you wish. If you do, that'd be great. The two of clubs is the two of wands. It's an Aries energy, too. So the really stepping into your power is really quite evident. So this is the next message we're going to get really into. What's this Osho Zen energy? I want to say for these two. This is like making a decision, staying behind or leaving something behind. You have the outsider and the healing. You could be leaving someone in the dust for your own healing journey. You could be walking away 
leaving something behind, stepping into your power, not giving to energies at all, keeping everybody locked out. You see what I'm saying? You see how it's locked? Keeping everybody on the lock. You know, you're not coming in right now. I have like basically think of it like this. Say you have the sacred garden. Your sacred garden allows energies in all the time, right? Like the portal, it's open. People keep coming in to take all these beautiful fruits and, and uh, picking these beautiful flowers and drinking the water, right? But all this stuff has to be replenished. So you're kicking everybody out of your sacred garden really quick, Sagittarius, okay? So that you can replenish everything. I'll get that water back to flow, get those, you know, fruits back into the, into the place where they got already taking, get those flowers to regrow, boom, so much better. Everybody that comes in and is invited back in, with boundaries set with that situation too not allowing just energetic vampires to come in whenever they feel like it just basically like having a restaurant right or a bar and there's always those people who think they can come in and run the place you have security for those reasons right there you go this is what your ancestors are telling you they are your security okay they are the ones that will take these emmer heifers out and they will deal with them Okay, they want you to focus on yourself. This is what your ancestors are wanting you to do. Stop giving the individuals that are taking from you because there's so much more potential for you. There's so many more individuals you can help benefit with growth and healing and love, but you can't do it at the place that you're at. You can't do it at a clear, like where it's not clear. It's, it's a confusing um, mind F U S D K. Okay, so you're gonna heal and keep everybody on the outside while you do this. Open up to change and know what you're worth to do this. Two, also something about two could be the second house energy of Taurus, right? So focusing on your own stuff, material-wise. So if you haven't been able to give to other people, you're going to find your, your time cleaning, going through stuff that you have, that you, that your possessions, your items that are meaningful to you. Um, and maybe you're going to clean out some of those things. And, and if you really don't feel like you're aligned with certain things anymore, clothes, right? You have stuff in your vehicle. You have, you have stuff in your trunk that you know that it's never going to get used. You got to go clean it out. That kind of thing was what, what I'm getting with the number two, with the, the energy of Venus. And it's like clearing out space for new things to come. New, beautiful, bigger, better things. More beneficial for you now. Maybe those things that you had were beneficial for you at one point. But you are not that same person anymore. New things are coming to benefit you if you cleanse that energy. That's what I have, okay? I will get an extra couple messages. Thinking process has been very unclear, very distracted. <sighs> Time to breathe and practice those breathing exercises. This is like crazy. Okay, and then we have someone is trying to punish you for living your best life and leaving them behind and they will but you're not going to let that bug you because you know what you're worth. That's not going to bug you. You're unattainable to an energy that is toxic. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful thing. That's all you could ever, ever, ever hope for. And you're protected. Your spirit guides, your ancestors are here to help you to get you to the point where you can be benefiting those that really need it. But right now you're benefiting yourself and that's what you need to be focused on. Much love to you guys. I really hope this helped. You guys are fantastic.